Hello and welcome back. Today we look back at YouTube's Ballinger family. Previously we debunked Colleen's divorce video which was conveniently timed to hype up her Netflix show a few weeks before. It also showed the Ballingers are cold hearted bitches. This time let's take a look at Rachel Ballinger's video called Valentine's Day Sucks. Let's check it out. You know what pisses me off? The expectations people put on Valentine's Day. What people? I mean, I know that's what everyone says. People in the public hype up Valentine's Day on TV and social media, sure. But who are you talking about, Rachel? This nebulous people and we she uses is going to get old quick. Trust me. A lot of people know that Valentine's Day has been called Single Awareness Day or my brother Trent's birthday. Happy birthday, Trent. I personally don't think Valentine's Day is that great. And don't think that I'm just some bitter old lady who's never had a boyfriend or a date on Valentine's Day, because that's wrong. She must be a mind reader. I was definitely thinking she's a bitter, spoiled brat. You must know you are deep down inside, Rachel, to feel the need to defend yourself like this. Here's how I know Rachel is butthurt about Valentine's. First, her video is called Valentine's Day Sucks, and second, her series is called What Pisses me off. I've done the boyfriend Valentine's. I've done the random date Valentine's. I've done the single day Valentine's Day and I've done the girl power we don't need boys we have each other Valentine's Day. All of them suck. Well the girl power one's actually kind of fun. I can't believe you would think the girl power Valentine's is the kind of fun one. Obviously a romantic holiday like Valentine's Day would be more fun with a date or a relationship. And if you're single who gives a shit? Go home and play Xbox. Grab double the drinks for yourself at the bar. You're solo. It doesn't have to be sad and lonely. What sounds really sad to me is Rachel's girl power Valentine's Day. A quasi protest to the very idea of Valentine's relationships and love. All because no guys will put up with their bullshit. That's sad. But they suck because everyone puts these high expectations on Valentine's Day, that we have to find a date, that we have to eat chocolate, that we have to get flowers, that we have to have a teddy bear, that we have to go out and eat a nice dinner, that we have to look good, that people have to want to date us. Again, I ask you, Rachel, who is everyone? Who is giving you these lofty expectations? I'm going to have to say it's you, Rachel. You're the one doing this to yourself. No one else is in charge of your expectations. If you can't control them, that's on you. You're a grown-ass woman. Time to grow up in the relationship department. Why don't you try starting with zero expectations? and then go from there. You'd be surprised how nice a handwritten note, a home-cooked meal, or some simple conversation could be once you've corrected your expectations. I like to call girls like Rachel the Disney princess generation. This is what society tells us that Valentine's Day is. High school was terrible. We had things like candy grams or flower grams and people could send people flowers and everyone knew, second period, if you got a flower, people liked you. If you didn't, you were a loser. More passing the buck, Rachel has no control over her life, her views, her expectations. Society has told her to act and react in these ways. She sees a friend get a valentine and immediately goes to being jealous and angry. But is that really the only possible reaction? Is Rachel suggesting everyone feels the same way she does about everything? Because society? No, that's fucking ridiculous. When I see a friend get something like a valentine, a date, or god willing some sex, I don't immediately feel angry and jealous of them. I say nice, hey bro, give me a high five. So does that mean society is telling me to react differently than Rachel? No, it means different people react differently to things. And society isn't telling Rachel to be jealous, nor is it telling me to be proud. Our reactions come from within ourselves. And whatever influence you allow your instincts and other people to have, that's on you. But guess what? You're not actually a loser at all. It's just that someone didn't spend a dollar fifty or three bucks sending you a stupid rose for a second period. Whoop de freaking do! I'm awesome. I never got one. Your level of awesomeness is still in question, lady. Listen, if you're alone on Valentine's Day, don't feel bad. I've had a lot of alone Valentine's Day. Aww, I think she was breaking up there. I've had a lot of alone Valentine's Day. I've had a lot of alone Valentine's Day. You've had a lot of alone Valentine's? And it's terrible that this holiday, no matter who you are, who you're dating, what you're doing, 90% of the world is not going to be satisfied with their Valentine's Day. Again, Rachel is assuming the rest of the world thinks the way she does. Or in her logic, society tells us to think and feel certain ways about Valentine's Day. And everyone feels the same way as Rachel because society. Why are the guys the ones that have to give the girls everything? Why can't the girls give guys stuff? Girls can give guys stuff. If you're not giving your guys gifts, Rachel, that's probably part of the reason you're single. This day is supposed to be about love and romance, but really it's just how can I get the most stuff to to prove to people that I'm not alone on this day. Maybe that's what Valentine's Day is for you, Rachel, but not for me, my friends, and people I know. Next time.
Hello everyone. We wanted to take an extra minute and have you take a look at these little cute guys. That's kittens and mitten kittens and stinker and widdly do. Those are some of the harmless kittens that have been surviving off of the No Bullshit Patreon account. Go down to No Bullshit Patreon store and uh, donate your money now to save cats and save lives and just be a good person and don't don't be a dick. You know, don't don't be a dick for once. For one time. Give us your money to save cats. One more way you can support the No Bullshit Show is buying our merch. We've got all kinds of shirts, mugs, white shirts, black shirts, hoodies, all kinds of cool stuff at our Teespring store. If you're looking for some swag, I definitely recommend checking it out. And all the proceeds go right back into the show so I can make more videos for you guys. Thanks so much for your time. Goodbye again.